Good evening, good evening, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. This is exactly 9 o'clock for me. Those of you who are tuning in to me for the first time, hey! My name is Leticia Campbell. I'm your number one email marketing strategist, CEO and founder of the Campbell Success Network, and the creator of my email partner tribe. Mother of five, y'all. You're going to hear my kids in the background because they are... It's, 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 it's late at night and they didn't have school today and tomorrow Saturday and they're just being kids. So if y'all don't like to hear children, you know, talking and playing and all the things, then this is definitely not the live for you, right? So let's go ahead and get started. I want to um, share something that I've been working on for about six months now in the making. Um, I've had several conversations with my business partner and all the things and there's going to be a lot of awesome things coming up uh very soon that some of y'all are going to be like this is different <laughs> and for most of you especially if you're a client of mine you're going to already know that this has been a long time coming but anyway um we're going to really have a really really deep conversation tonight i know most of you ladies are winding down um, for whatever you had to do today, uh, but we're going to dive into the conversation of what does not looking back or what does not going back look like? What does that look like for you? What the, what does that look like? You know, is that possible? Is it something that you would want to consider? And for those of you who want to learn more about our upcoming masterminds, our upcoming master classes, and our upcoming events. I want you to go ahead and click the link that I just pinned to the comment. If you're watching this on my YouTube or anywhere else, uh, the link will be somewhere in the comments or in the title section. Uh, but the link is B I, this is all lowercase. The link is bit.ly forward slash we will not go back. bit.ly forward slash we will not go back. So let's dive into tonight's conversation. Hey, Jean Anderson, thank you for hopping on, love. Let's go ahead and dive into tonight's conversation, which is what does not going back look like? What does not going back look like? You know, we as women, a lot of times, we always focus on our past, all right? We always focus on what we didn't accomplish. You know, it's the month of November and many of y'all are probably going back and thinking about all the things you didn't do, all the goals you didn't accomplish. And you're probably feeling that you are behind. But like one of my amazing clients, Shoshana Cuevas says, we always say, Shoshana Cuevas, right? She always says, you're always right where you need to be. You're always right where you need to be because God works on timing. Everything's about timing. All right. So. We want to dive into, especially for the theme this month, in light of the theme this month, which is never going back. What does that look like? What does not going back look like? What does not, what does it look like to not always look behind you, right? What does it look like to not look in that small little mirror all the time in our cars, that looks behind us instead of that big window in front of us, right? So I'm going to go ahead and give you all seven things, seven tips to really help you guys to focus on not always looking behind you, not always going backwards, not always looking back, right? Because we want to really be in that season now from now until the end of the year. And we make these vision boards. How many of y'all... At the end of every year, you make a vision board or you think of making, making a vision board, whether it's a physical vision board or it's a uh, digital vision board. You make that vision board, but you're still looking behind you. You're still you're still meditating on the fact that you haven't accomplished that ha house yet or you haven't accomplished becoming debt free. And for some of y'all, right, including myself, I'm going to raise my hand and be honest and transparent. You haven't accomplished your big picture six, seven figure goal. And it's nothing wrong with that. But the only way, hey, Annette, the only way you're going to get there, the house, the car, the financial freedom, all the things, is by not looking back 24-7 and being in regret. So let's go over uh, tip number one. Okay, I'm going to give you all seven tonight. Let's, let's talk about number one. Number one is 
for me, I, I'm going to personalize this, y'all, because it's the only way I'm able to articulate in a way that you understand. But for me, I'm in the process of learning how to forgive myself. Ladies, people will only do to you what you allow. I was having an awesome conversation with one of my clients. Uh, one of my clients, her name is Karen Perkins. She did an amazing event uh, on the 26th in, um, I believe she lives in Maryland. Um, but she talked about how one of the things that they talked about was forgiveness, right? So one of the things that I started doing since, I think it was like October 12th, as I started to look at myself in the mirror and I forgave myself for everything that I did to myself that hindered and hurt me. All the things that I believed and allowed the people to put on me. All the things I put myself through didn't take me to the place I needed to go to in life. Right? Hold on one second. So that's what I had to do. So that's number one. Is definitely focus on self-forgiveness. I think that's very important because in order to not look back, one of the major things that you need to stop doing is stop always beating yourself up. You got to forgive yourself. You just have to. Nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. We all do things that we're not proud of and all the things. But number one is you have to forgive yourself. Okay. Number two is know what you want out of life. Right. Hey, Shoshana, Shoshana, I was just talking about you, sis. Know what you want out of life. What are your dreams? What are your aspirations? What are the things that is not directly tied to you as a mother, as a wife, as a, as a co-worker, as an entrepreneur? You know, what are those things? What do you want out of your life? Hey, love, that's important, right? Number two is partnerships. Partnerships. What a lot of y'all don't know is, is, is I've been part of so many. Well, a lot of y'all do know this. Y'all probably seen some of the partnerships I've been a part of. Sorry about that, y'all. Can y'all hear me? Type in one if y'all can hear me. I've been a part of a lot of partnerships for a long time. And I'm telling you right now, it's just in the past six months that I've really been honing in. Hey, Diane, y'all are rolling on into here tonight. That I've really been honing in on partnerships. Y'all have to partner with people. Whether it's women, men, and indifferent. You have to partner with people. Partnerships is very much so important. One second. Y'all know it's late, y'all. I got five kids. All right. Shoshana said, was my fault. Didn't know about it. Couldn't help. Wait, anyway. Was not my fault. Didn't know about it. Couldn't help it. Standard disclosure. <laughs> You're so funny, sis. You're so funny. Um, you got to partner with other people. And I don't want y'all to feel that a lot of people don't, a lot of people in business don't partner because if some of y'all may feel like you, you may not have a large following or you don't have a large email list or whatever it is that's hindering you. You have to partner. Like, starting on next Thursday, I'm going to be partnering with Annette. She's on here. Say hello, Annette. I'm going to be partnering with her. You know, partnerships is very important in order to get you to that goal. You can have several different partnerships at, all going on at one time. But you cannot reach. How does that help you look forward? You know, how does that help you not to go back? When you partner with people, it's a level of accountability that you get. It's almost like a hand holding to the point where when there's moments where you want to look back or go back to the past, you're, you, the, the people that you're partnering with is like, no, girl, let's keep what's the next thing? What's the next thing? How we can do things better than what we did the month before. Right. Number four is you got to stay focused. How many of y'all struggle with focus? Say me, whatever you need to do, whether you need to have a timer, right, whether you need to have a calendar where you need to have a planner to do this or what have you, you have to stay focused. You have to go back to your list. I don't care what you get on a day-to-day -day basis. Go back to your list and get focused. Shoshana said there's accountability with partnership. Absolutely. Stop trying to build your business by yourself. Stop trying to do it all, 
you know, and be all by yourself. Partner up. Somebody type in the word hashtag partner up. Find the people that you want to partner with. All you got to do is ask. And those individuals who say they're not ready, move on to the next. There was things that I wasn't ready to partner with, with last year, but because individuals kept reaching out to me, kept kept following up with me, I had kept on saying, okay, now is the time. Your That opportunity, that follow-up may be to the point where they're going to say, well, now is the time. I know you've been talking about this to me. I know you've been, you've been mentioning this to me. I know I've been hearing about this, but now is the time. Thank you, Annette. Thank you, Shoshana. Yes, that yes said me. So, number five is some of y'all need help with this. It's just self-love. What is self love? What is self love, y'all? I want y'all. I want y'all to answer that question. What does self love look like? What does having self love looks like? How should somebody act and react when they have self love? Y'all go ahead and share that in the chat while I go on to the next one, which is number six: self worth. Know your worth. Know your worth. Don't let anyone or anything compromise your worth. Your self worth for yourself. If you have to write it down, the top five things that you feel for self-worth, do it. So when there are those times where you feel like you're down or sad, you go back to when you read it. You go back to when you check it out. Hey, it's Sheikha. Sheikha uh, uh, Hard Witten, she is my sister-in-law. Uh, Sheikha, our birthdays are coming up on December 27th. What you doing, love? Yes. And that said, love yourself. Okay, okay. That was, that was in reference to number four. Um, sorry, number five. And the last one is patience. Patience, y'all. And I, I'm only putting that number down there, that word down there, because I am every single day working on my patience. Yeah. Got to have patience. <sighs> got to have patience. You got to have emotions and feel the emotions and let the emotions go through you and just have the patience enough to say, you know what? It's going to be okay. Your patience has to be bigger than the problem, than the challenge, than all the things. you got to have patience. Patience can be a beautiful thing if you look at it in a different way. Amen? All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, make sure y'all go to that link. Does everybody... Type in number two if y'all see the link in the chat over here on Facebook. Uh, the link is bit.ly forward slash we will not go back. Um, when you click on that link, you're just going to put in your information and it's just for us to make like a stored list of people who are interested in learning more about our master classes, our tour and our event. So you definitely want to go there and check that out. It's just, a, you know, that way you'd be the first to know. Okay. Thank you. Annette. thank you, Shoshana. So before y'all hop off here, make sure you go ahead and click on that link. If you can't click on it, Go ahead and type in link in the comments and I'll message it to you right now. This is live on Facebook, so I'll message it to you right now. Go ahead and type in link in the chat and if you can't click on it, okay? Because I'm seeing that it's clickable, but I know for some people, um, you may not be able to click on it. If you click, if you type in link, I'll message it to you. And again, all you're doing is just putting in your information and we're just adding you to a list uh, for individuals who want to learn more about our master classes, our events. Our, our tours, our retreats, and all the things that's coming up very soon. Okay? All right. Annette, you want me to put, send you the link? I'll do that right now. Anybody else? Do you want me to send you the link? It's just an interest list. That's all it is. Hey, Jamie. How are you doing, love? Thank you for joining. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining. Sounds of All Saints Dead. Oh! Oh, Annette, I just saw the video you sent me. I gotta go look at it. All right, Jamie, do you see the link in the chat? Shoshana, thank you. This necklace says, um, oh, what does this necklace say? If y'all want more information on this necklace, just type in necklace and I'll send it to you. Uh, this necklace says, Live the life you love. That's what this necklace says. Live the life you love. If you want to learn more about that, just type in necklace and I'll. Find it out for you. I'll find out for you. <laughs> I'll find out for you. Yep. Okay, you see it. Are you able to click on it, Jamie? Diane? Yes. Just want to make sure before I hop off here.
All right, I think we're good, y'all. So again, the link in the chat there, this pin to the comments is bit.ly forward slash we we will hold on. What am I, what's this just pop up? We will not go back. That's in all lowercase. Okay, good, Diane. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have a great night, and I'll see y'all uh, on my next live. Bye, guys.